So when we're thinking about organizing a React Native project, we need to approach it with a few goals. And the first goal I've got is to build it cross-platform. One of the great things about building a native app in JavaScript is that it's cross-platform. Uh, it can work in you know any environment that React Native supports. And currently that's uh, iOS, Android, and then there's future platforms uh, kind of in the works right now. So that's my number one goal is to make sure this is cross-platform and I'm building and organizing code in a way uh, that enables that. So my second goal is to maximize code reuse. And by that I mean I want to use as much code um, you know throughout the entire app just write it once and reuse it from there but also to reuse code between Android, iOS and any future platforms. So that's the second goal when approaching uh, how to actually organize the application. So my third goal is to keep configuration out of the code. These are things like settings, colors, Image paths, routes, all of these are pieces of code that are used in multiple places throughout the app and that they can change. And when I change them, I don't want to have to worry about if I found every single spot, I don't want to have to really dive into the code and pot potentially break some of the features in there. So I want to keep configuration out of the code. That way it's easy to change, easy to really reason about, and just very easy to reuse going back to our previous goal to maximize code reuse. And finally, my fourth goal is to minimize component state. That means I want to use stateless functional components uh, as much as possible. And these, this means that components are just a function of their props. We're not using this.state in there. Based off of the props that are passed down, we'll determine uh, what that component actually does and how that component looks. And this is kind of based on the principle of KISS, or keep it simple, stupid, uh, which I'm a firm subscriber of. So those are my thoughts around how uh, to actually organize the project, and this kind of drives the decisions uh, that I make when actually organizing it.